morning, friends and family in Jesus. Uh, what a beautiful day the Lord has blessed us with. I hope this day finds you blessed and finds you well. I hope that in this day uh, you have a hunger and a drive inside of you to seek more of the Lord and to get into the Word of God and um, have the Holy Spirit feed you with the bread of life. So if you want to follow this morning, I'm going to be reading uh, one scripture verse out of the book of Psalms, chapter 16. If you want to follow with Psalms, chapter 16, we are going to be looking at verse 11 this morning. So family, if you speak to 10 people, 9 out of those 10 people, if you ask them, have you got a goal or a vision in life where you want to reach in a, a certain amount of time. Nine out of ten people will say to you, yes, I do. Whether it's in the job that they are in or maybe a personal goal or a personal vision um, that they are striving towards. Maybe they have young children, small children, and their goal and their vision is connected to the children. But nine out of ten people will tell you, yes, um, I am on my way somewhere. Um, it, it might not take the time that we have set for it. But you know, if we pursue it and we pray enough and we fast enough, we will eventually get there. And so the sad fact is that one out of those 10 people, they just don't have any drive in life. They've got no ambition, no goals. There's no vision. There's, there's nothing that they are striving towards. And so this one scripture that we are going to read this morning is, you know, it puts everything that we do every single day, it puts it into perspective. And the Bible says in um, Psalm 16, verse 11, it says, You, that is the Lord, you make known to me the path of life. And if we just, just take that first piece, Father God, you make known to me the path of life. You know, family, if you've got young children or if, if you've had children, you will see that at the age of five, let's say, if you ask them, what do you want to become one day? Then they say a doctor or a vet, veterinarian or I want to be a farmer. If you ask them at the age of eight, that has changed. Then, then they want to become a truck driver or... Um, a business owner and if you then ask them at the age of 12 it changes again and the age of 16 age of 18 and 20 and so each one of us look at things in life and and we are drawn to to it and some of us get to the point in our lives where we now have to make a decision we have to go to university or maybe not have to but we want to go to university to, to get a degree. And so we stand and, and that is a huge choice that a lot of young people make and a lot of young people have to make. And so they stand and they, they make a, a choice and a decision and they say, okay, I'm, I, I'm choosing this. I, I, want to, I want to become um, a, a, a doctor. And so they go and they study for four or for seven years to become a doctor. And then they finish studying and they, they start going into that career. And maybe within a year or two, they find that they are unhappy and they, they're not satisfied. And, and then they change to something else. And family in Jesus, that is, I think that's every one of our journeys here on, on, on earth is to find the one thing that we are called for here on, on earth, so that we do not waste time. I know I wasted 21, 22 years of my life because I didn't know what my calling was. I maybe didn't want to know at that time. And so here, David comes and he says, Father God, please make known to me the path of life so that I don't Get off of that path so that I don't move off of that path. And family in Jesus, it's a sad fact and a sad reality that 
A lot of people on earth today don't want to know the path of life. They don't want to know that the path of life is supposed to lead to the throne of Father God. And so it's a beautiful, beautiful um, call that the psalmist has this morning. And that maybe our spirits have this morning as well. Father God, please make known to me the path of life. And it goes on and it says, you will fill me with joy in your presence. With eternal pleasure with your right hand. Listen what, what King David says here. You know, family in Jesus, a lot of us, we are looking for joy, but we're looking for it maybe in the wrong place. Not all of us, but maybe some of us. We're crying out and we, 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 we're looking for this joy that we read about in the word of God, but we're looking for it in the wrong place. And here King David comes and he, he gives us two biblical truths that will never change. First of all, if I am seeking the path of life, the only place that I can find it is in the presence of God. Also, if I am seeking joy, I will not find joy outside of the presence of God. This scripture is clear on that. It says here, you, Father God, you make known to me the path of life. And you will fill me with joy in your presence. Nowhere else. And so family in Jesus, if there is someone out there this morning that's listening to this. And you feel that you have not yet. You know, found that path to life. You've been seeking. You've been looking for it. Then, then this morning is, is a, 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 a cry to you and a message to you. Brother and sister in Christ, whoever you are. It is only Father God that can make known to you the path of life. And if you are seeking this morning for this biblical, godly, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit joy. You can only find it in the presence of Father God. So I want to call out to you this morning, brother and sister in Christ, whoever you are, whoever this message is speaking to this morning, as we go into prayer right now, to pray with me, to pray with us, and we will pray for you and with you, we will intercede for you. As you seek the, the, the path of life and as you seek, to find that joy that you read about in the word of God. So if that is you this morning, please join me in prayer right now. <clears throat> Father God, in the name of your son Jesus, we thank you for this absolutely beautiful day. This glorious, magnificent, godly day. That, that you have blessed us with, Lord. The sun is shining and the birds are singing. They are worshipping you, Lord. Because you are giving them what they need. Um, you are giving them the their daily food, you are helping them build their homes um, to, to start uh, a family. And, and Father God, how beautiful is that, Lord, that they, they depend on you for everything, every single day, Lord. And so we should as well, Father God. When we labor, we should labor for you. When we, we speak, we should speak for you. When we raise our children, we should do it for you, Father God. And so in this day, Lord, if there is someone out there that is crying out to you saying, Lord, this is me. I am seeking the path to life, the path of life. And, and I am seeking that joy that I read about in the word of God. Then we pray this morning, Father, for that brother and that sister in Christ. And we pray that you will make known to them the path of life, Lord. And that in your presence that they will receive that joy that they have been seeking. And so we thank you for that, Father God. You are truly a, a, a magnificent, um, good, good God to us. And we thank you for that. Almighty, all-powerful, all-knowing, all-loving. We thank you for that, Father God. Thank you that in all our faults and in all our mistakes, your love still comes through. Your love still drenches us and, and changes us and cures us and, and heals us. And so we thank you for that, Father God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your Holy Spirit, for the guidance, 
for the teaching. We pray and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, brother and sister in Christ. <clears throat> um, I, I hope and I pray that if that is or was you this morning that is saying, Lord Jesus, please, this is me. Um, I've got all confidence in the word of God and I've got all confidence in the Holy Spirit. So if the cry of your heart was, um, was pure this morning, then I believe that the Lord will hear you. So... Go out this morning, take this scripture, meditate on it, see what the Holy Spirit shows you. Um, if you've been completely fed with this scripture, uh, if you've got 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes extra this, this day, open the Word of God, let the, the Holy Spirit lead you. Get into the Bible, read. Um, if you don't know the path of life, um, this is definitely, the Word of God is definitely the direction um, for you. Amen. So family in Jesus, until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.